guess what we're doing today? We're gonna talk skincare, okay? We're gonna talk about it. I'm gonna show you what I use, um, and then I'm gonna tell you if the product is good for certain skin types, and then I have things that I'm gonna recommend for other skin types as well. I'm balanced to dry, but I would say, I'm trying to look at what I use. I'm gonna say that 90, percent of what I use is going to be great for all skin types. Even though I'm balanced to dry, I don't use a lot of heavy moisturizers. I don't use a lot of just thick creams. I don't. And the reason why is because I find that when I find that right balance for my skin, we're all different. But when I find it, that's when I go over into balanced and less dry. So it's always about finding that balance. And I am not a professional when it comes to skincare, disclaimer, nothing, not a professional in any way. Also genetics play the big. And I was saying, before we even move on even any further, most of the reason of why my skin looks the way that it does is genetics. None of these products are to thank, they maintain and I enjoy them and I feel that they, they make a difference to some extent. But these are not miracle products. I don't know if there is a miracle product. If there is, I have not discovered it. Um, but I just don't want you to think, oh my gosh, if I go make this list and this list is thousands of dollars, not what I'm showing isn't thousands, I'm, I'm exaggerating, but just, an, just, just an, a large amount of money and then your skin is going to look the way that mine looks that might not be the case. I just always wanna put that out there. That's one of the reasons I don't talk a lot about skincare. Mm -hmm. Me and this guy right here. Oh, and there's another factor. I'm gonna talk your ear off because it's just so important. Makeup is such an expression, but skincare is very personal. But also even the climate that I live in makes a difference. Um, I've lived in a very humid climate my entire life very close to the ocean, just humid. Plays a big part, plays a big part in hydration. And then one last thing, another thing I don't wanna talk about, I don't want anybody to feel any kind of negative way. Diet plays a huge part, we're not even gonna get into that. And then drinking water, most of us know that. Let's get started. We're gonna start morning. We're gonna do both, but we're gonna start morning. This is what I use. Say I wake up, I wash my face, I'm gonna use this. It's gentle enough for the morning because I don't wanna just strip my skin in the morning. Um, but it's also wonderful after I do my double cleanse for nighttime. So I've been using this, a little goes a long way. So I feel like that $25 is going to last you because I only need, even when I go to take my makeup off, I just need a little, and it's the perfect amount and it just really, really, it doesn't sud, I don't wanna say that. Um, but you can really feel it kind of coating and then washing away makeup or just your, you know, the morning grime. Well, I have morning grime, <laughs> but this is what I start my day with. So I'm out of this. So I'm going to show you something that I'm gross. It's completely empty though. We're, we're not judging here. This is from Sulwasu. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. I have used and personally bought, they sent me this bottle, but I've personally bought three three bottles of this. I really and truly see a difference when I use this. And by difference, I mean even tone, fine lines, everything that we don't want, I see a difference in it. Um, I use this the way that we would use a toner, which is sometimes now called a lotion. So it's a very, this would go on, and I'm showing it in order. So this would go on right after you wash your face. Um, I'm gonna show you what I have been using for a couple weeks and I'm enjoying it, but this one is going to, it's gonna do a little bit more, okay? It's 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 a little bit more uh, spicier priced, but it's it it does more. It works harder for you. I love this one. By the way, none of what I'm giving you, none, none of these links are affiliate links. They're just links I'm going and grabbing from the website. Um, and the reason you're like, oh, what does it matter? I, I've been doing this a while, and I just want to make sure that when when I'm actually um, being compensated in any way. Even if it's just a commission link, I would want y'all to know because I love you. Moving on. So since I'm out of that and I need to order it, I need to be reminded to do that. So this is what I've been using for probably about three weeks. I know I need to throw this one away, but I feel like there's still a little bit in here. Y'all know me. You just can't get rid of it. So I have been using this and I'm really enjoying it. I feel like it kind of sets a really nice tone 
toner <laughs> for the rest of your skincare. It kind of just boosts everything. It's very brightening. I feel like it look my skin looks very even. Um, I believe that this one is going to, I need to check prices, but look how much I've, I've used. That's about three weeks. See it right there? But I say after three weeks, three to four weeks, I can give you my opinion on a product. I even test makeup that long. But I'm really, really enjoying it. And I want you to make sure that you go and you read about it. Go check out the ingredients because I know not all of our skin can tolerate. Maybe you're allergic to cloudberry. But I will say all, all skin types, usually most toners because they're so thin, they're not as, um, what am I trying to say here? I was saying they're a little bit more forgiving to all skin types because of how thin they are. Um, and generally what they do, they kind of just set the tone. It's a little different than finding the right serum for your skin type or the right moisturizer. So moisturizer is where I find it gets a little trickier to find one for your skin type, but I got one for everybody here. We're gonna talk about that. But yes, really enjoying this. Um, I'm loving the way that it pairs with the rest of my skincare, and I really think that y'all will like it. Listen, the one thing I don't have here is a serum. So I'm going in order of how we do it. We wash our face, we go to our toner, lotion, um, what I've showed you so far. But the next thing would be serum. And there are serums that I enjoy, but I don't have one that I just feel is better than the other. So right now, right here, I want you to tell me what face serum just absolutely changed your skincare game? Because I haven't found one. And they're expensive. I've even bought a bunch and I just still have not found one that I go, oh, ooh. They all kind of just work the same. But do you agree? <laughs> So I was using a newer one from Dior, which was gifted to me. I used all of it, and this was a while ago. Skin looked like it always does, didn't see a major difference. Um, I, I have used this one, and I've used this one for a long time, but I didn't see any difference between this and the Dior. Um, I've even used some really spicy price ones that I've had samples, but samples that have lasted me long enough to make a, a, um, to make a decision on that. And I'm talking like wild things I can't pronounce that have just been like little samples, but still four and five, six weeks worth of the serum. And I don't see the difference from serum to serum. I do recommend obviously using a serum because I'm always switching it up, but even when I've dedicated to one, and this could be a discussion, I, I'm interested to hear what y'all have to say. But for me, I don't have one that I go, whoa, this is it. I don't have that. To summarize what I'm saying, the serums, they do something, but I don't feel that one serum is more special than the other serum. I feel that they all work on me the same. There's our summary. Now listen, there was one, but listen, <laughs> it was discontinued. And I do remember, but I was younger. Okay, this was my 20s. I think it was discontinued when I literally turned 30. They were like, gotta get rid of it. <laughs> She's really gonna need it. But it was philosophy, time, in a bottle. It, it truly minimized fine lines. It brightened. It, it made everything even. But it was still so gentle. And I remember it was a two-part system. So it came with a little active bottle. And you'd pour that active bottle into a serum that was already in the bottle. That, I really did see a difference. Because it... And then it was only, I don't want to say only, we all are in a different walk of life, but for skincare, I believe it was $70. But for what it did, it worked like a $500 serum. So what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go study the ingredients. Um, emphasis on study. I'm not a professional with this. I'm going to try my best. Uh, and I, I'm gonna see what was in that, and I'm gonna try to find me a serum, and us a serum, that kind of matches where that was, because it was chef's kiss. But in the meantime, I just started using this one. I've only used it four times. Let me get over here. So I can't recommend it just yet. But I I'm, I love the way that it's feel, it feels on my skin, and this is gonna be good for all skin types, by the way. 
Um, but I'm gonna keep you all updated. So that's why I didn't choose a serum right now because I've just switched over to this one. So maybe I'm gonna see a difference with this one. And you have to remember, I document everything. I document it with back camera up close so I can I can see. So the documentation's always there because I can go back and look at my makeup and my, my bare skin from a month ago. So that's what's kind of cool about what I do because I do it so up close, so HD. Um, so we shall see. I'm excited. I, it's, it's got uh, it's high hopes for this one. High hopes. I'll keep you updated. Mm, Y'all's recommendations are pouring in. I am going to be slathering myself in a new serum soon. I'm so excited. All right, moving on. So next is going to be moisturizer. And I have something for everyone. And, oh, I also want to say that... I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about like uh, the Ordinary or Inky List. Now I've tried those and I have put them to the test. And remember the viral pink serum that everybody's dropping on their face? I actually purchased that and I gave it away. They just don't, they don't do enough for me. Uh, we're all different. We are all different. They could be doing something for you. Maybe you have, obviously we have different genetics. We live in different climates. Um, but for me, I'm just not one that enjoys those brands. Oh, not to sidetrack Sally, but I also want to take Ben's skin into account here. Um, he has sensitive skin and blemish prone. And I'm going to show you a face wash. He just made me order three bottles of. The brand sent it to me. They sent us one bottle, sent me. They sent me, he just downright just hijacked it and said, no, this is mine. And he loves it. And he just told me, he's like, when I was using this, I wasn't getting a blemish. My skin wasn't over drying. It was just really balancing his skin. Um, and it's, let, let me just go get it for you. Here it is. This is the one. So this has the salicylic acid in it. Um, I don't, I, I can use this if I'm taking off my makeup, but I, I don't really use this daily because it balances to dry. But like I said, he has drier skin, so it is going to be good for all skin types. It's just more for the blemish prone. And he was just, he was raving about it. Just absolutely raving. I ordered three bottles for him off of Sephora. They should literally be here tomorrow. He just asked me, he said, where is my face wash? I said, it's on its way. He he loves it. And that's a, that's a it's a big deal coming from Ben. He's very particular. He's more particular than I am sometimes when it comes to skincare. So I'm very excited because again, I don't have blemish prone skin, but he loves it. So I'm so happy that I can share this with all of you. Please give this a try because I we're all seeing a difference with his skin. And it'll probably last you a lot longer because I love my Benny with all of my heart, but he has not yet figured out how little he actually needs. He went through it pretty fast. <laughs> so after I do my serum, which like I mentioned, I showed you the one that I have on currently, um, I'm gonna do my eye cream, which I already have on. So I've already done my skincare, but it's more fun to just sit and chat. I love this eye cream so much. Now this one, I do see a difference. I see brightness. I see even, I see less fine lines. I have been using this, I don't even know how long. This is probably my third jar because I've been using it for years. Don't think I've been using it three months. <laughs> it lasts because with this one, I feel that an even smaller amount goes a very long way um, as opposed to a pump. Those pumps get you. Ooh, an eye cream and a pump. You can actually use a very small amount and you still get these results. And it's this LMS eye cream that I've used forever now. But do keep that in mind. If you go through a pump, I don't even have one, this is my eye cream. But if you, you go through a pump eye cream so much faster, but with something like this, and I'll take my clean eye brush that I use from Anissa Beauty and you don't realize how little you actually need around your eye area. And yes, this is spicy priced, but it lasts so much longer. Say you have a drunk elephant eye cream, that pump, no matter how little that you pump out, it's gonna pump extra. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. <laughs> but this just lasts all skin types. It doesn't just aggravate my milia. Um, I'm, I've seen results. If I stop using it, I, I see the bad results. 
I love this. It's tried and true. Pairs beautifully with makeup. There's just nothing I don't like about it. Oh, and I'll quit talking about it after this, but I know a lot of us, we don't like heavy eye creams and you might be thinking that this is heavy, but this is, it's a gel. It's more of a gel completely. Okay, I'm done, but it, I just, I get excited because I really have seen a difference in my 35 year old under eye now. And I feel that I'm, I'm still okay putting my heavier makeup on because of it. And I really like it. And it excites me when I do find something that works for me. I mean, I still haven't found that serum that's my holy grail, but this is my holy grail. So now we're gonna talk moisturizer. I have my favorite sunscreen too. Don't you think I'm gonna let you forget this about your sunscreen? You better put your sunscreen on. Now, listen, I don't have sunscreen on right now, but I'm not, I'm gonna do my makeup that I'm about to do. It's more, a, it's from the runway. So I'm not gonna put sunscreen underneath my more wild looks. Um, but the moment I wash that off, sunscreen will go on my face. Right now, I am in a completely dark room. I don't even have a window open. Always wear your sunscreen, unless you're doing couture looks in the dark. <laughs> I, that's actually so funny to me. <laughs> now, I'm gonna show you two moisturizers. One spicier price than the other, but I still love the less spicy price one. Um, it's the Ulla Henriksen one the strength trainer. I love this one. It's very thin, all skin types. It's very thin. It looks like it's not, let me scoop some out. Where's my, where's my spatch? Here's my spatula. The search makeup spatula on Amazon. It's very, very, very thin, but it's very hydrating. And I feel that it works really beautifully. Yes, it does not have that heavy feeling. Like I said, even at my driest, I don't like a heavy feeling skincare product. But it's it's really beautiful. Very lightly scented. Smells like very lightly, uh, a very light orange. Uh, I, I really, I love this one. And I love switching back and forth between my moisturizers. This is a good one. Now this one, this one's going to spook you. Let me see the price. I need to go get more. I don't even know how much of this I've used. This, I see a difference. I see a difference in my fine lines. I see a difference in hydration. I see a difference in all day hydration. Also, I use this at night. So it says morning matrix, but there's not SPF in it. Um, we're gonna get back to that. So I like to use this one because this one feels more like a gel. And again, even though I can be dry, I still don't want a super thick moisturizer. Um, I, I find that when I use a really heavy moisturizer, I will get clogged pores around my chin and I don't have time for that. Mm -mm. So I still like thin, thin formula. So if you're watching this and you're very oily, this would still work for you because it's so thin. I will never be without this moisturizer. And I know it's very spicy price and I wanna always give you options. I love the one I showed you, but this one is my jam. You know what's interesting? And I, 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 I'm very apologetic and I, I don't like doing these things, but these are things I get asked to show. Anytime I do show skincare, that's the only time that I get negativity. Um, if I show a cleansing balm, it really upsets people. And I won't go into detail on what they say. I'm sure most of you have seen it, but I can post all of the makeup in the whole wide world and it's very happy. And that's why I gravitate towards makeup. But I do feel that skincare is so important in terms of makeup. It's the first step to the makeup. So if any of this and these prices, they upset you, I do apologize. We're all different. And some of us find that Brands like The Ordinary work beautifully for us, and that makes me so happy, but I am not that person. These spicy price products are what works for me. They don't always work for everyone. You could buy these and they wouldn't work for you, but these are what work for me. These are my tried and true, aside from that serum. <laughs> but if you already have something and you are enjoying the way that your skin is wearing makeup, the way that it looks, the texture, please continue, just ignore this. But I will say that I am, a, I can be sensitive and comments hurt my feelings. Okay, moving on. Oh, one more thing. Um, actually, I'm gonna show you a couple more things from Elemis. This one I don't use every single day. I don't want you to feel like you need this one. This is the actual mask. So you're gonna see this 
kind of super thick gel consistency. And I'm gonna mention this one because sometimes when I'm really heavily retinoling, I'll put my serum on and that's not enough. So what I like to do is I'll take a little bit of this mask. I'm talking, this is gonna last you, I don't even know how long, but I'll just kind of seal that in. And this acts like a seal if you have a really um, crusty dry patch, which for me is sometimes my under eyes are very, very, very crusty. Anywhere you got the crust, if you got some crust around your nose, this just acts like a sealant to that. And then by the time you wash your face, um, it, it's helped the crusty patch because it's locked in that moisture all day long. 10 out of a 10. Okay, now moving on, I'm gonna look at the rest of the things that I'm gonna show you um, as primer, even though it's not, this one's labeled as a primer, but even though it's not labeled absolute primer, this is how I'm going to use them. But next, this is what would go on next, after moisturizer. Now sunscreen is more personal than who we choose to spend the rest of our life with. <laughs> it is so personal. Um, all skincare is, but I feel that sunscreen is extra personal. This is my absolute favorite. I can wear this. Listen, I can wear this sunscreen underneath Estee Lauder Double Wear. And if some of you know that formula, then you know that this is going to pair nicely with anything. This just actually dries down. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel sunscreeny. I love this one. I love it so much. And this one is uh, mineral, which is what I normally like to wear. I like mineral sunscreens as opposed to chemical, but I love this one. Love it. So then we put our primer on after, right? But I don't, I don't love primer. I haven't found an actual labeled primer that does for me what skincare does. So if my cheeks are going through it, this, I talk about this weekly, almost daily. I, I, I sometimes don't even want to share it because I feel annoying, but what this has done for my redness, my cheeks, even my chest, I am forever grateful to it. So if you suffer with any kind of redness or if you even have heat anywhere in your face, because I do and I feel like my job, even this, the nerves can get a little wild. So this is just, this helps. I love this. I'm on jar three. And I use this as primer. So if my face is a little hot, I'm gonna use this. Um, this is gonna be a really nice tacky consistency that makeup is going to absolutely love. To me, this reminds me of what um, the Milk Hydro Grip face primer should feel like. That one is just too sticky. This is the perfect consistency. Um, but again, this is something I'm gonna reach for if I'm feeling a lot of heat in my cheeks. If it's a hot day, this is where I'm at. Now say it's getting a little more humid. I got something for that. So if you have combination, even if you're dry, because where I live, I get very, um, I don't wanna say oily, but just extra humid dewy. Um, and I'll get that through the center. This one, I have something heavier duty or heavier duty that I'm gonna show you in just a second from Milk, but let me concentrate on this one. I absolutely love this. I'm gonna put a little bit on. This is very blurring, but makeup still goes over it. So you need to think about that. A lot of times when we grab a very mattifying primer, makeup struggles with it. It doesn't wanna go on top of it and it becomes patchy, but they did a really great job with this formula. As soon as it dries down, it's going to ever so lightly mattify but not feel dry. And it's gonna actually wear nicely. I've done wear tests with this, and this is something I highly recommend. So I, remember, I'm balanced to dry, but I live in a very humid climate. But if you're even extra oilier than this, I have another product, but I, I love this one. Love it, 10 out of 10 for me. And then if you'll tap back, you can see that it definitely took down that shine, and it'll actually balance it throughout the day. And that's all skin is. A lot of, uh, growing up, me, me, myself, I thought that if we went heavier duty with things, we put on more of them, we extra mattified, it was going to work. But sometimes what happens is that just sends your skin into chaos. It freaks out and then it does the opposite of what you were wanting it to do. So I don't like products that just go to town on doing one specific thing. Uh, especially not for where my skin is. So always keep that in mind. Now, even this extra mattifying primer I'm about to show you still isn't just absolute matte chaos. 
it's still going to be right there on that fine line and it's going to balance instead of just freak your skin out. Now, if you have oily skin, this one is so wonderful. And I don't recommend going any heavier than this one. Um, I have, and if you're wondering, Rose, you don't have oily skin. Y'all, I, I, I still do my friend's makeup. We talk, we have, we, I have friends with all kinds of skins. <laughs> so this one is just absolutely fantastic if you have oily skin. Again, it's not just that absolute mattifying um, skin blocker is what I like to say. And it pairs beautifully with makeup. I've worn this many times, even myself. Uh, and even where I'm at on my skin, it's fantastic. It's wonderful. And I really think that you will absolutely love it if you have combination oily skin. So check this one out for sure. Now, something that I still use and I, I keep it with me. And I should do a video on different ways that I use it because I actually like it on top of makeup because it actually goes on top of makeup really nicely and we could do like a i just had an idea <laughs> but when i'm talking about this i mean i know that y'all see these everywhere and i don't want to me it's not i'm gonna be honest it doesn't it's not crazy effective results but it's a really nice i, I look at it more like makeup because it adds such a glow to the skin. It goes on top of makeup, it goes under makeup. So if you're wanting any kind of glow, I love this. Now, obviously it doesn't have any light reflecting particles in it, nothing like that. But I look at this more as a primer and you're thinking, whoa, that's really wet and it is, but it doesn't feel like it. And it'll stay pretty glowy, but it does not feel sticky. It doesn't feel slimy. It doesn't feel like what it looks like. And I feel like that's a really good way to describe it. But to me, I keep this here with my makeup because I look at it like makeup and I need to do some videos on it. In fact, I'm gonna wear it right now. And if you don't have a skincare brush, I highly recommend one. I've been using it now for since 2019. Okay, I did a pump and a half, and I'm again, this is going on top. This would even go on top of sunscreen, as long as the sunscreen start dried down because we put primer on top of sunscreen. And I feel like sometimes people, they get a little confused by that. They don't think about applying primer on top of it. That's normal, but when you use your skincare as primer, people, um, they tend to kind of go, whoa, no, but yes, we would put any kind of primer on top. So I'm gonna use this. And I want extra hydration today. And I kind of think of this the same way as this, but if I don't have a lot of redness and I want extra glow, I'm going to use this. Even the bottle's pretty. That's how I really want to look is pink and holographic. So for my nighttime skincare routine, the only thing I do different is I add retinol after my serum, whatever serum that may be. Um, and then I'll put a moisturizer on top of that. So I like to kind of sandwich it in there. My cheeks can be a little bit sensitive and sometimes I even avoid my cheeks depending on where we're at with the retinol. I'm gonna show you the retinol I use. I'm gonna go uh, green screen it and get you a link. I love the retinol. I do see a difference with the retinol that it's spicy, not even priced. It's spicy, it will burn you. So I want you to go search retinol sandwich method on YouTube. I'm not a skincare page, and I want you to go to somebody that um, has some kind of credentials. Mm -hmm. I use the 0 0.5, there's one stronger than this. This is where I'm at in my life. I love it, it's wonderful. Um, I've never had any kind of prescription, retinol, the other one, I forget the name of it off the top of my head. I don't have any of that, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about the rest of my skin in just a second. Um, but this right here, and then you can even search it on TikTok. There's a lot of really wonderful dermatologists, actual dermatologists on TikTok that could even talk you through that method that I'm talking about a little bit more, especially if you're starting out or if you have sensitive skin, it's really important. Um, but I, I really love this retinol. It's doing what I want it to do. I'm sure there are much stronger ones. I know there are much stronger ones than this. But for where I'm at and even how much I have, I, I can't, oh, that's another factor. I can't have downtime because of, I, I do this every single day. So I can't have that skin downtime, but I love this retinol, love it. So yeah, that's, that's it. And like I said, I just don't change my nighttime routine too much. I don't see a difference if I use something different at night. Um, obviously I just don't use SPF at night, nor do I use it in the dark room, remember? <laughs> but 
Um, another thing that I do want to mention is I've never had any lasers. I've never had, but this is all genetics. I've obviously I've never had any filler whatsoever. If I did, I would absolutely, I mean, obviously you can see with the movement, the fine lines. I don't, I don't have any of that. Am I against it? No, it's just not something I ever felt that I wanted to do. Do I need it? Probably. Yes. <laughs> But there are other things that I like to focus on, and that's usually glitter. But that's it. Aside from this, which I just saw, they were coming out with new colors. I'm honestly waiting by the door. That That is, that is good news to me, because this formula, I've used them all. Okay? Y'all are going to name formulas. Mm-hmm. You're going to be like, oh, you use this one, this one, this one. When it comes to a lip balm, Rose has used it. These are my absolute absolute favorite and the fact that they're doing more colors i'm so excited all right that's everything um it's it's extensive but i think i've seen more ex extensive skincare routines but we're all different skincare so personal it comes down to genetics it comes down to climate it comes down to so many different things so again just do not feel like you need to go buy any of this if you have things that are working continue to use them. But if you're like me and you just can't find a serum that you really see them working, ask your friends because <laughs> that's what I did. All right, friends, I'm going to go film some fun stuff. I love you all so much. Not all of us get to hear that every single day, but if you're here, you're going to hear I love you because I do. Y'all are truly my friends. We chat in our DMs all day long and we just have fun and we're just one big happy family and I love you so much. Now, I'm gonna go eat my special K. Y'all know that I love cereal. Don't share a lot about my life, but I do share my love for cereal with y'all. <laughs> and I will see you tonight in the comments.